Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here. And in today's video, we are gonna be looking at some brand new sales numbers that just came out for the Nintendo Switch, which means we have updated sales numbers for all of the Pokemon games that we've gotten so far on the console. And as you can see by the title and thumbnail of this video, Pokemon BDSP absolutely killed it. Before getting into the bulk of this discussion, let's get a couple smaller bits of this news out of the way. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee in the newest financial earnings report from Nintendo. Have sold a combined 14.53 million copies. Pokemon Sword and Shield still continue to be the second best-selling Pokemon games of all time, selling a combined 24.27 million units. And the newest game in the Pokemon series, Legends Arceus, which only came out in January, a solo game, has not cracked this upper echelon of Pokemon games just yet. It is sitting at a relatively decent 12.64 million copies. That could have its own discussion video on its own. It's interesting to see that lower number for sales, but it also needs to be kept in pace with where this next set of games lies. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl games that came out three months before Legends Arceus. Remakes of the beloved Diamond and Pearl, the fourth generation of Pokemon, have sold a combined 14 and a half million copies on the Nintendo Switch. That is utterly remarkable. As a couple different websites and tweets have already told everybody, that makes BDSP the best selling set of Pokemon remakes of all time, beating out Heart Gold and Soul Silver, beating out Fire Red and Leaf Green, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. They sit atop the heap as the best selling remakes Pokemon has ever released. Cue the immediate meltdown from roughly half of the community that was not happy with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. There was a very strong, vocal group of fans who did not like the direction that Game Freak, the Pokemon company, and Ilka, the developers of these games, specifically went with these remakes. Alas, the general population, the, the average Switch consumer, seemingly, at least in purchasing the games, gave them their nod of approval because the numbers do not lie. BDSP cracks the top 10 Nintendo games sold on the Nintendo Switch. Legends Arceus has not cracked that top 10 just yet. The other two sets of games in that top 10 are Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and Sword and Shield. It's a remarkable list, and it's a remarkable achievement for BDSP, given the level of criticism that the games received from certain members of the community. But this bodes an interesting question. Why are these games so popular? Why did they sell so well? There's a couple of reasons. There's a couple obvious factors, but there's also some more nuanced ones that I think warrant more of a discussion. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, take a look at some of the perks and see if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me. You'll get some cool Mudkit badges, which are always fun. With that being said, let's jump right back into the video. Let's get the obvious one out of the way. The Nintendo Switch has a ton of units sold. It is one of the best-selling video game consoles of all time. Pokemon is the biggest multimedia franchise of all time. There are tons of people who just love playing Pokemon games and don't get into the weeds online and on social media discourse of the nuances of each game. They enjoy the core concept of Pokemon, and they want to play a Pokemon game. You also have to factor in the nostalgia reasons. People love Generation 4. A ton of people who are in their 20s and finally becoming adults nowadays grew up with Generation 4 being probably their first Pokemon games. So that nostalgic wave of people getting a Nintendo console in their adult years and wanting to go back and experience an older game is strong. I don't have firm scientific evidence on that, but I can just talk about people who have left comments in on my videos in the past, talking about how they were really excited for BDSP and how they grew up with the original games. 
I've seen that uh, that circumstantial evidence, and I think it's real. So that's the biggest reason why BDSP are so popular in light of the criticisms. Another reason is the natural advantage that Pokemon games typically have on the market. There are a ton of people who buy both games. I bought Sword and Shield. I bought Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I bought Let's Go Pikachu twice, but that's a story for another day. Legends Arceus is lower on this totem pole in terms of sales. Now, of course, it did come out three months after BDSP, but it was also a more praised game. More people loved this game. More people who weren't typically Pokemon fans played this game. It sold less units, and it'll probably catch up and grow more in sales as the years go on now, but the bulk of sales for video games, just like other media items like books and, uh, and movies and things like that, they get sold up front. A lot of their sales come in the first couple weeks, in the first couple months. Video games are usually no different. There is a massive spike at the time when they come out, and then it's a slow drip after that as the years roll on. So these games will accumulate more sales, but the fact that the Nintendo Switch is as large as it is contributed to this, as did nostalgia for Generation 4. The other reason is just that Pokemon does a pretty good job marketing these remakes. Pokemon knows how to hit at those nostalgic heartstrings, and if you followed the the hype cycle for BDSP and for Legends Arceus, you will know that they put a lot of resources into advertising Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and didn't put as much in for Legends Arceus until the very end when it was just about to release. You could say that's because they had more confidence in Legends Arceus to sell without the big media push, that's definitely possible, or you could make the prediction that I think is fair that they looked at remakes as this big nostalgic seller. These games were coming out in the holiday season, right before Black Friday. That's where Nintendo typically puts their big game that's going to reach an incredibly broad audience. That's where they put BDSP. Also, not to critique the Pokemon fan base that much, but I'm going to put this out there. The general online discourse surrounding the negativity in the Pokemon community does not permeate the general public. People have lives. People don't care about the smaller, nitpicky criticisms of a game. People don't broadly care and determine what they're going to pay for uh, on if there's mega evolution or if there are certain features from Platinum brought into the game. Those criticisms that diehard fans fairly have about BDSP, ones that I agree with on a fundamental level, don't always permeate the general public when it comes to buying these games. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl sold better than Heart Gold and Soul Silver on the wildly successful Nintendo DS. That is insane. Most people agree that Heart Gold and Soul Silver were the best remakes Pokemon has ever put out. Oras sold incredibly well on the Nintendo 3DS. They have not sold as many copies as Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. This is some amazing sales figures, quite frankly. I did not expect BDSP to sell as much as it has. It has already eclipsed the sales numbers of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. It is an incredibly strong seller, and this number is only going to rise. What do you guys think about some of the reasons I laid out here as to why these games are so successful? Do you agree with my reasons? Do you think there's something else? And what do you think? Did you pick up BDSP? Is it a game you enjoyed or is it something you'll end up forgetting, uh, you know, as the years roll on? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video specifically, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any future content. We got a ton of fun stuff coming now that the summer is rolling in. With that being said, I have been Linky. And we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.